Okay, we have here y is equal to 3x. We have z is equal to 2y. And they want to know what is x plus y plus z in terms of x. Whenever you see this in terms of, don't let that throw you off. Don't try to interpret that. Just get rid of it. All you're going to look for here is what's the answer, and we're dealing with a bunch of x's in the answer choices. So we're adding these up, and we can see that y is equal to 3x. So right away, you can see this is pretty straightforward. Don't need to know this in terms of business here. And then z is equal to 2y. OK, well, if z is equal to 2y, and we know that y over here is equal to 3x, we could easily put the 3x down where the y is. Now, of course, the logic here is we want everything to be the same terms, in this case, x, so that we can add them up. And so we know that z equals 2y, y is equal to 3x, therefore z is equal to 6x, which is derived from 2 times y, which is, of course, equal to 3x. And just like that, we now have z. We add these three up, and we get 10x. And so you can see the answer is going to be in terms of x now, which is answer choice A.